So Mark, is this a parachute fly tied with CDC? Absolutely. Uh, this is full full CDC parachute. And uh, parachute are not very easy pattern to tie, but it's even worse when you get to the point to use only CDC feathers. Um, personally, I developed a kind of trick to do it a little easier. So um, let, me, let me show you that. So you start first. By the tail, Coq de Leopardo. So let me grab this. So the body will be pretty much the same as the other uh, pattern, you see, using the natural conicity of the stem. Tying by the tip. Leave the thread where you're going to end the body. And just go wrap twist. This is kind of a light olive color. and then stop here. A few wraps, trim the excess and clean up the body. What is nice with the, the parachute pattern is that you can see them from far away. That's the reason why they are made like this, because there is no incest which got this type of wings <laughs> on the mm -hmm. top. So I like the elementary color, but you could also put it like this or white. White sometimes it's even more difficult than this kind of uh, color when I'm fishing because you can have some white reflection in the yeah, water. Very light colored glare. Yeah. So I really prefer this kind of uh, color. But anyway, no problem because the fish will not see it from the other side. Right. So take two of those, like this, then trim, transfer. So this will be the post and trim out the stems. This is our first component. Now something a little darker, those will be perfect. I call it Bistre, this color. This is a color which is a good substitute to the natural black, which in fact is black on the top, but always a little white here. It's a kind of uh, brownish dark color. Let me put three this time because they are a little shorter. So okay, we have our two component and we can go now. So Leave the thread, then leave your scissors inside to keep the loop open. Incorporate the first row, then use a small spring here that we have uh, a little space in between the two colors. Is that pretty important to have that space in there? Oh, yeah, I will tell you right after. Is to help the Pose to be standing up nicely. So spin the bobbin holder. When you've got enough, you just forward everything like this, and then rewind it. Now, you remember on the mayfly upwing, we will do exactly the same, in fact. So the pose will be quite well secure because you have 
fibers all around. But when you arrive at this point, not not close to the eye, but leave a little space, you start to go on the back and on the front. So almost all the fibers are standing. Nearly nothing is on the other side, straight up. So just to make sure, we will use the free space we have here to control everything. But for that, it's better to return it the other way around that we can s make sure that all the fibers are on the top, which is now the bottom. Okay, so you make it something like an X here, and then you can now go around like this and around. I do not go around like this. Don't I go around the pink no. CDC. I prefer to go like eight, like this, over the hook uh, shank. It's much stronger because when you go like this, uh, if you the fish grab, it can go out. Another grab one off. Yeah. So I prefer to have it like this. And what I find quite nice uh, with this material is it is not a fragile material, so you can re really take everything out of the way to get the eye clean to be able to make the final knot. You know, it's hard to do that with a regular ackle, otherwise everything is broken. Okay, so now we have, not a big mess, but we have everything a little bit at a different place. So invite the fibers to stand on the bottom like this, like it was before I made the whip finish knot. So the post stand like this, and then you have just to trim it like this, as long as you want, and then to cut eventually what is too much here and what is too long here, like this. And what is nice is here, the fish can't see, but here you can see the fly very See well. that very easily. Yeah. This is the purpose of the of yeah. this pattern. That is a great mayfly imitation. And it's easy to tie and strong. Mm -hmm. That's important. And soft. The fish will notice only the hook mm -hmm. <laughs> because everything is soft. 